I made this video because it was requested by many people who watched phase one. So here it is, how to implement a minimap component. It really helps to get the big picture, I think. Get it? Because the minimap shows a larger part. Gonna code, debug, and have fun. Coding with Radu. Coding with Radu. Gonna prototype and design. Coding with Radu. Coding with Radu. Let's code now. Now we're going to work with the simulation app. So we use the index from the main folder, not the one from inside of world. But I do want to show you how to include the big world into this file because currently it's loading the one from local storage. The big world failed. And a simple way to do this is to edit your big world a little bit and define the world here inside of this file. It's gonna work as a JavaScript file, basically. So I'm going to type here world is equal to world load and everything from this data. I'm gonna go all the way to the end and close here and close the semicolon. And now this big world inside of world and saves, I'm going to include it here. Like this. And we need to go to main.js and all this part where we are generating the world from local storage, we can remove it or Comment it out if you want to reuse it someday. But um, we can remove it now because world is already defined in that file that we include. It's a global variable. Save. And now when you refresh, you should be inside of the big world now. Nice, but this world is so big, even with the zooming out, like if I zoom out too much, I'm not going to see anything anymore. And that's why I'm going to teach you how to make a minimap. It was also a really requested feature, so let's get to it. I'm going to add it here below the network, so the network is going to be squished a little bit. So at the top here, network canvas height. Its width is 300, so let's make the minimap 300 times 300. And the minimap is going to be defined here in index.html, and it's going to be a canvas underneath the network canvas. So minimap canvas. The minimap will use this one to update itself. Back to main.js. We need a way to access the minimap as well. And I'm going to use here minimap canvas to get the element with that ID. Let's set its width to 300 and its height to 300. Save, refresh, and um, it's showing here on the right. Let's wrap these in a div. I think this is going to work. Save, refresh. And now this minimap canvas is here 300 times 300. So it fits. Now our minimap is going to be defined here. Let's put it below the viewport. And the code for it will look something like this minimap is a new minimap on the minimap canvas. And 
we'll only need the graph there. It's going to be a simplified view showing just the graph. And 300 in size. Now, this minimap will update also in the animate function. So let's update it here after updating the world. And it's going to need the viewpoint because we will center it always at the car location. Now, let's prepare file for it. It will be next to the neural network visualizer. This is also a kind of visualizer. And let's just have here mini map and create this file just in the root folder minimap.js. And this class is again simple. It's going to have a constructor with canvas, graph, and size. And let's store these as attributes of the minimap object. The graph and the size. And uh, I'm going to set the canvas width and canvas height to this size, even though we had it 300 already. Now it's going to change to whatever the minimap says. And uh, CTX, let's take it out to use later in our update function here. So the update function is going to take the viewpoint and uh, first it's going to clear everything on the canvas like this and then loop through all of the segments of the graph and draw them like this. But we need to consider the viewpoint as well. So uh, let's go here before doing the drawing and uh, translating this canvas. So save translate to minus the viewpoint like this. And restore here below. Save and refresh. And uh, it doesn't seem to work. Oh, okay. Something is coming here, but uh, it should be a mini map. So let's scale it down like a lot. Let's put here scalar 0 0.05. And uh, we'll use this scalar to scale context like this. But also we have to adjust the viewpoint with the scalar as well. So I'm going to define here a scaled viewpoint and scale the viewpoint by, let's put minus the scalar so that we copy here just scaled viewpoint. Avoid unnecessary confusion like that. Save, refresh. And uh, you can see something here, but um, barely. These lines need to be thicker. And we need to take into consideration how much we scaled and thicken them like that. So um, let's say width is going to be 3 divided by the scalar. This is going to be a subunitary value, so dividing actually makes it bigger. Save and refresh. And uh, where are we? I think this intersection here is this one. I think this top left corner is the current car location there. So let's offset this also by the, by the size. I'm going to do this here because I can't use vector operations 
Mate. in size is um, not a point. Let's save and refresh. And now this center location here. Yeah, it's now turning on this road. I think this is good. Let's change the style so that it matches more the neural network. I'm going to draw the segments here as white. And uh, let's go to style CSS. And I'm going to copy this network canvas and um, give the same black background to the minimap. Save, refresh. This is better. Let's mark also the um, center of this map. It's hard to tell where it really is. So after we do the restore, we just draw a regular point here at half the size, half the size, and we draw it. Let's use blue. The car is blue and also, oh, also the network has blue in it. We can actually use the outline feature from the points from the very beginning. Because that's going to make this uh, yellow outline and the other color here is yellow. I think this is it. We are pretty much done with this project. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the course. And if you did, please remember to like, subscribe and share it with others so they can learn as well. See you guys and stay tuned for phase three. It will start soon, I promise.